Now that you know how to set up your print, we'll teach you some common maintenance routines, such as bed leveling and changing the filament cartridge. For an optimal result, the build plate should be perfectly aligned to the print head, because if this is not the case, prints might not attach to the bed properly, or might come loose while printing. If the bed is not leveled, you can use a specific function in the settings menu to fix this issue. Go to settings and then bed leveling, and this will start the leveling routine. The printing head will measure the height of the bed on different locations and will ask you to compensate the difference in height if necessary. It will ask you to rotate the wheels a couple of clicks in a certain direction to make sure that the bed is level again. In our case we have to rotate the left wheel three clicks counterclockwise and the right wheel three clicks clockwise. When we have done our adjustments, the printer will check the build plate again. And if we have done our adjustments correctly, it will tell us that the bed has been leveled successfully. Now before we start a print, we have to check if there is still enough filament left in the cartridge to complete our entire print. If this is not the case, or if we want to print in another color, we have to change out the filament. At the bottom of the display we can see that we have approximately 60% of blue filament left. If the printer needs a new spool of filament, there are a couple of steps you need to follow. On your printer, go to Cartridge, then select Unload and press OK. The printer will now start to heat up the nozzle, so the filament can be retracted. This will roll back the filament and collect it on the spool. The cartridge is now ejected and can be removed. Use the slider button on the left of the cartridge to open it up and reveal the spool, which can now be changed out with a new one or a different color. Make sure that the end of your filament is firmly tucked away when you store your spools. This way, your filament won't get entangled, which might cause problems when you want to use it again later on. We can now take a new roll of filament. In the little red bag, you'll also find a chip. This chip will store all the information about your filament, the color and how much material already is used. So be sure that you always keep the chip together with the correct spool. The spools have been packed airtight in order to prevent moisture from getting in. Remove the plastic and throw away the bag of silica gel. We'll swap out the chips first. The chip is located in the corner of the cartridge and you can just slide it out. Now we just have to take our new chip and slide it in place. Place the new spool in the correct place and feed the end of the filament into the guiding tube. Be sure to check whether you can see the filament move forward when you manually turn the extruder wheel. This will make sure that the printer will be automatically able to load the filament once it is installed back in the 3D printer. You can now close the cartridge and slide it back into the machine. The printer will now automatically ask if you want to load the filament that you've just inserted and just pressing yes is all we have to do now. The printer will now heat up, load in the filament and tell us when it has finished. 